Brittany, thank you. Fort Mill Schools is moving some students away from their neighborhood school because many are overcrowded. Gold Hill Elementary, Gold Hill Middle, Pleasant Knoll Middle School, they are now under an enrollment freeze. This means newly enrolled students to these three schools won't go there, but instead to schools farther away. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison shows us how many students will be impacted and how long this pause will last. Geographically, Fort Mill Schools is one of the smallest in the state, but the number of students who they serve every day continues to grow. And that's why school leaders say they need somewhere to put them. In Fort Mill, there seems to always be a new place to shop, a new place to eat, or new homes and apartments being built. We've definitely seen exciting new growth, especially over the last three years. Fort Mill overall has experienced 5% growth year over year, but the population growth has actually grown by over 16% since 2020. Growth is one of the reasons the Fort Mill School District says it has to put an enrollment freeze on three area schools. Which means any new student moving into their zoned areas when they enroll in the district would now be attending a different school because of the growth in the areas and the capacity of the schools. Fort Mill school leaders say the freeze will control students teacher ratio. Oh, oh, One study from the Brookings Institute found smaller class sizes increase student achievement by an amount equivalent to about three additional months of being in the classroom. What we certainly don't want to end up happening is to continue to pack kids into a school where we end up with you know 30 kids in a kindergarten class. But the reality is many families do make decisions on buying a new home based on going to a certain school. So they're going to have those same opportunities at their new assigned school. So we've worked really hard to make sure that that experience is uniform across the board for all of our kids. School leaders say the number of students impacted won't be too large. It could be anywhere from five to 20 kids at each school, depending on the number of people who move into that particular area. They'll revisit the plans of the freeze in the summer. Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.